Hey, welcome to a new episode of Trigger Wheel Masterclass. And today I'm going to show you how you can uh, view what is actually happening within your flow part between different flow parts that you execute within your user flow. So that sounds a little bit complicated maybe, but um, let me explain it a little bit more um, by going to the designer. In this particular case, um, when we click on the button Get Division, we execute two flow parts. In this case, the exact line the 02 refresh token, and after that, the exact line 03 Get Division. And then we show a page called Result of Get Division. Well, as you might understand, something is executed here and something is executed here. But sometimes you need to, you're going to use the stuff that's being executed here in uh, this flow part. And if it doesn't give the right information, something will be executed in a different way than you might expect. And you have no idea where to look for it. So what I typically do in those cases is I put a page between these two flow parts um, to view what has happened or what the outcome is of this flow part. However, to do so, I need to add some outputs to this flow part, which I can after that show on the page that I'm going to create in between. So let's go to that flow part first and add some outputs. So we've got the 0 to refresh token. And what I can do is I can say like, okay, um, the status code is quite an important thing because it shows if something went wrong, yes or no. So if the status code is 200, everything works fine. And if it's something else, um, something went wrong. So I would like to know what the status code is. So I'm going to add the status code of the response as an output, because then I can show it on the page itself. So I'm going back to the user flow and I'm going to add a page, which shows that particular output. Okay, and we are going to add a stacked item, a detail item, and it is going to be the status code of this flow part. Okay, and of course I need to add a button to continue to the next flow part and in the end to the next page. Okay. I'm going to publish this. Okay, it has been published. So now when I click on the get division page, well before I would see the final page, you know, with the results of the division. Um, but now I see a different page first, which is the status code. And after that, I can continue to get the division itself. So when I click on division, I see that I get a status code 200. And that can explain a lot to me regarding this, the outcome of this flow part. And then I can continue and see the outcome, the final outcome. This is also like a very good way um, to create a pause between different uh, enrichments of data. So, for example, let's say I've got two flow parts. One flow part um, adds the letter A to a specific property and the second flow part adds the letter B to a specific property. Um, normally, the end result would be B 
because first I add A and after that I change it to B, so the end result is B. But if I put a page in between, I can see that the application first changed it to A and after that changed it to B. So it's a very nice way to make it clear for yourself how data is changed within your application. See you next week, same time, same channel. Hit the subscribe button to be notified. Oh, and don't forget to like us.